Hey, Mike here. Let's talk about the Sabbath. Should you go to church on Saturday or Sunday? Which one's correct? Let's take a look at this. It's more complicated than it sounds. In the New Testament, Jesus emphasized the spiritual essence of the Sabbath and didn't exactly prescribe specific occasions for observing it, such as a church. It just did it as a day of rest. He highlighted the Sabbath as a day of rest, mercy, and doing good. The emphasis was on connecting with God and showing compassion rather than strict adherence to human rules, or, or any rules really. But it wasn't a free-for-all. So the idea of gathering churches on Sundays developed later in Christian tradition as a way to commemorate the resurrection, which is said to have happened on a Sunday. Now, that's not necessarily a direct command from Jesus regarding the Sabbath. That's just something some people made up. Now, the actual Sabbath is not even on Sunday, it's on Saturday. In fact, the Spanish word for Saturday is sabido. The Spanish word for Sabbath is sabido as well. The Catholics, or as I would call them, the Roman Empire disguised as a church, changed it a while back. And they had no authority to do this at all. Um, the Pope is nobody special. He cannot change the Sabbath. It is still Saturday. Now, does that mean that you have to go to church on Saturday? Not necessarily. Um, we actually go to church on Thursday nights. You should, of course, go to church at some point. It doesn't really matter when. Uh, it's more important you read the Bible and talk to others about God. But as Jesus did say, don't forsake meeting with one another, strengthen your faith. That was um, not necessarily tied to the Sabbath, though. That could have been at any point. So let me know in the comments when you go to church. Like what day do you go to church on and why do you choose that day? Now you might want to know what to do if you are required to go into work to the threat of losing your job. Well, if they force you to come in on the Sabbath, just take it easy. You don't have to cause problems. It can still be a day of rest wherever you are. Simply observe the Sabbath as a day of rest from your place of work. Just do just barely enough to not get fired and don't break a sweat. That's really all you gotta do. And you might think that you have ethical concerns regarding being lazy at work on this day. But in truth, that's not your problem. They were the ones that did wrong when they told you to come in on the Sabbath. So that's, a, that's on them. You will obey God over company policy or even the law of your country. So doing some amount of work is not going to send you to hell. Um, the Sadducees were very concerned with, or the Pharisees, I mean, were very concerned with not doing anything that could be considered work. Like you could be freezing and you're forbidden to chop wood. That's ridiculous. Um, in fact, Jesus even performed some works on the Sabbath, and it was the right thing to do, when uh, healings and stuff like that. When questioned by the religious elites of the time, he informed them that the Sabbath was created for man and not man for the Sabbath. That's all I've got here. It's going to be a short video. Have a restful and blessed day. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and share this with anyone who has concerns about the Sabbath.